here is not pretty. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. This is a hot pick, and you know, this has to, I need to say this because it's with a little tear coming down my cheek. This bread basket has been outrageously popular since we debuted it. It is customer top rated, you love it. Sometimes pieces still need to retire. This is one of them. It's retiring, no reorder, and it's a sale price, saving you a few dollars. It's $24.32 as we celebrate 31 Days of Temptations. Tara also sadly told me at this moment she has no plans for a new bread basket. So you want the bread basket right now for Thanksgiving and for holiday and into the winter months when you're serving the bread. This is your time to get it. So we're going to go through all of the colors that we have uh, because it also comes with a really pretty cloth napkin to complete the whole look. Yes, exactly. And the bread basket, Sharon, what I love about that is, again, the fact that it's made in the stoneware. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get that heat circulation. It's got that lattice or woven look to it that's very complicated to do. This is actually put into a mold. And you can see, again, the, de the delicate detail that you see right there in that braiding. When I tip it forward, it's hand painted on the inside as well, which is really beautiful. So there you can truly see that gorgeous old world pattern. I love the fact that the heat flows through it. I love the fact that again, you can bake your bread right in here if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. You can serve your bread right in here. And of course we have a million different other ideas. What you mentioned that we included the embroidered napkin, which is also great and it's pre-treated. So what you don't have to worry about is that this is going to stain. So we gave you a large nice. enough napkin that has the embroidery in both corners. So when you want to go ahead, tuck that inside there, put your hot rolls, put your muffins in the morning, mm -hmm. put the bread, all the things the that we love, the croissants. Oh, yum. The croissants, authentic yum, gourmet, qvc.com. Take that. a look. Oh, <laughs> check them out. <laughs> check them out. The croissants are amazing. This was a, a request. You know, we've done many sets of dinnerware, we've sold many sets of, of cookware. Mm -hmm. This is really the only uh, uh, bread basket that we've done other than the round. And again, we have no plans on bringing a new one to you. The, and we're going to show you there's a variety of ways there to is. use this other than in your cooking or in your serving. But really, again, with 700 people that have just jumped on the phone lines. There is no reorder, reorder on this yes. and no plans for a new bread basket. So we'll go through our colors because this one again is only in our old world designs. So we'll start right here down below where we have that beautiful cranberry. So there you can see the gorgeous hand painting on the outside, that real charming lattice work that not only is pretty but allows for airflow. So again, there's a lot of reasons why something's beautiful, but it's also, as Sharon was saying, practical. The green's peeking back. That was what I was just showing you. Here, of course, is the red. Remember, you're going to get that pre-treated napkin, that embroidered napkin with all of them. You don't have to worry about it. It's going to go right in your uh, washing machine. All we just recommend is that you don't use any fabric softener okay. when you're going to go ahead and wash it. Here, of course, we have your classic black. So I love this. Again, I think this, if you have, you know, a gold or silver trim dinnerware, this is going to be beautiful. If you have the matching dinnerware, I love the way the black really just makes that look right. sophisticated. More modern home. Exactly. Look, look, look the, the blue too. to me is that cheery, warm kitchen. This makes me think of breakfast. This makes mm -hmm. me think of a bed and breakfast. Right. I just yellows, love yellows that. Yellows and blues, always. Yeah. And remember, you have that hand-painted um, accent on the inside as well. <laughs> Underneath, we have that beautiful spice. So when you're thinking about your harvest table, your Thanksgiving table, your spice and your brown are going to coordinate perfectly. I love the idea of picking up more than one because maybe you want to put them on each end of the right. table so everybody's not fighting over the rolls or whatever you're going to be putting out. I agree. Or maybe you're just having a lot of things happening. You just need them for two separate things. Exactly. I would get more than one since it's not being reordered. There, of course, we have your confetti that mixes and matches all of your colors. We have your fall fetti, and I'm just going to bear with me one second, guys. I just want you to see the inside there. The fall fetti is more of that Tuscan look, so mm -hmm. we have your uh, cranberries, we have your mustards, we have your greens. Again, if you're thinking about harvest and you love that, that's perfect. And then we even have some of the poinsettias, since this is retiring, we did want to give you the opportunity if you wanted to add to your poinsettia collection. Oh my gosh. Is that not gorgeous? To go I ahead love and your do that. poinsettia. That's what I used for all holiday last year. So if I don't grab that poinsettia right now on the you back phone, you will not phone, have it again. Have on the back phone. Here. We, I've, I've <laughs> asked them repeatedly. I need a bat phone underneath the little thing and I can press the button. Here's what's happening. There was a kind request from Jerome, our line producer, saying, please kindly use automated ordering <laughs> and send up the your cookie order, bar. Go to QV, I know, and send <laughs> up half of a cookie bar. Um, please go to QVC.com because we are very busy on our phone lines because once again, Again, this is an incredibly useful piece. Even if you say, well, we don't serve rolls that often. 
What if you ever have cookies and you want to serve them warmed and have them wrapped in the cloth? What if you're not even using this necessarily in the kitchen and it's going in the powder room and you can make a little gift basket for someone for the holidays? When this disappears, we have no plans for a reorder on a new bread basket and this is retiring right now. Like this is the process of retirement. When these things disappear, they're not being reordered. And you know, the, Look thing, at the things about these pieces, Sharon, is they almost become collectible because you have been collecting the bakeware sets and the dinnerware sets and then you get to the table and you want, you're looking for that piece. That, so that perfect so piece. That perfect piece. What are you doing with it? I'm just going to steal the napkin Please. from here because I want to show you. So we br we bake that bread right in here. We actually use those biscuits. You baked the bread in baked here. Baked the Even bread it's in there. On the side, you baked it in there. Yeah, and actually the bread will peek through. It's kind of neat. It, it causes uh, it, pops it creates out, it puffs there? out, oh, that's makes so a little lattice work. But now look what I can do. I can now go ahead in the beautiful presentation of being able to put my warm bread back inside here. Talk about a bed and, and breakfast. That. That's what it looks yes. like. That is the perfectly appointed table. If you don't have that, that creates that beautiful presentation. And over 1,500 of these are now gone. Close to 1,000 people are currently on the phone lines. And this is a two-hour show. We're celebrating 31 days of temptations with sale pricing, like you're seeing right here, which if the quantities last, will last till the end of the month of August. I don't know that this will last to the end of the month of August since it's retiring. And a lot of people may be picking up more than one. So. Think about how you might want to use it because I love chilled as a little fruit basket to put out. How darling is that? Isn't that great? I love this because again, exactly what you were saying. It's that stoneware. Now, you know, you'll hear from uh, Food Saver that air is the enemy of food, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, when you want air to go through your fruit, this is a nice way to do it. So you put that in the fridge. So whether it's a crudite, which I'll show you in a minute, or it's that fruit basket, that circulation is keeping this fresher longer while it's in your refrigerator. And I love that, that it is actually functional in a multi multitude of ways, but I need to let you know something funny. While you were beginning that little chat, yeah. my line producer said, poinsettia is definitely your most limited. And by the time you finished, she said, wow, that was fast. Poinsettia is gone. It's gone. The okay. poinsettia, just which one is next to go? The fall fetti. Okay, can you show do us we the fall do fetti colors? again? I was actually yeah, going to say, why don't we do that? that? That would be great. Because I know, I always like to say, they call themselves the Temptationistas or mm -hmm. Neesters. Love to know what they're uh, collecting and what's going to go with it. So the poinsettia, I'm going to actually remove, right? It's We're, I'm going to put that over there. Okay, let's talk about uh, confetti. Confetti actually mixes and matches your yellows, your blues, your lilacs. Really beautiful, works back perfectly with anything you've been collecting. And again, the, all the colors are in there, so you could have fun and mix and match. Here's your fall fetti. I love the fall fetti because for me, we call it fall fetti, but it's more of that Tuscan feel. Right. If you, you were talking about uh, decorating with grapes before yes. or that kind of Italian motif, that's going to work perfectly with your mustards, your greens, again, that spice and then that trim, of course, of your beautiful brown or chocolate. Remember, you do get the napkin. They're included. They're embroidered and they coordinate with each one. Here's your brown. So your brown is going to be your most neutral. I love the fall fetti brown and the spice for your mm -hmm. ho holiday harvest tables. Here's your spice underneath. There's that gorgeous cobalt blue. Remember, all hand painted on the inside and outside. So when you think about that beautiful lattice work, that's all individually hand painted as well. It would have been just as easy to just put a solid, but we actually individually hand painted those. There, of course, is your black. I love the sophistication of that. I love the pops of the reds and the yellows. We have your green. We have your classic red. Mm -hmm. And then down at the end, we have the cranberry. My mom actually uh, collects the cranberry and mixes and matches that with the black. Oh my gosh. Isn't that, that gorgeous? Stunning. While you're going back to the yes. fridge, I do want to let you know 2,500 of this hot pick have been spoken for. As the colors start to disappear, we will not be reordering them because this is retiring and there are no plans at the moment for a new bread basket design. So with the holidays upon us and some of those perfect completer pieces, talk about chilling this a different, beautiful, unique way of putting the cheese and the vegetable platter out. And is this one of your little ramekins? It is. From earlier? Yeah, from the 16 piece set. It was from just our very that. first set we had in the show. Yeah, we just dropped that right down inside. But I love, again, with a instead of a flat platter where everything's kind of rolling around. Yeah, and here, I was trying to struggle yes. with making that look pretty. Yes. The flat platter. There's that depth that you see there. So again, you have the air circulating through. You have that beautiful ability to, to chill it ahead of time and it'll keep it cold. I love next door. I love picking up, maybe you're thinking about this as a gift. Gift basket. It's a bread basket. 
Now it's a gift basket because you've put your philosophy in there or mm -hmm. something else that you love to collect, maybe wrap that up in cellophane as well. And now awesome. not only do they have the philosophy, but they also have the bread basket. They can keep it in the powder room if they wanted to. They can, mm -hmm. of course, use it for the way it was designed, which is for your rolls, for those cheesy breads, for all of those warm, you know, memory making breads that right. when I think about the holidays, all the crescent rolls my mom always makes. And there are certain things that we need a bread basket for. And this is that perfect uh, compliment. There's something about breads for the holidays. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It is that image, that classic Americana image of sitting down at the table. The first thing that happens is the bread basket gets oh, passed yes. around. That is the perfect holiday. And if you don't have a way to present it, maybe this is even your very first piece of temptations. There's something so marvelous about it because everybody loves the look of baskets, but you can't take a wicker basket and put it in the oven. You can't That's bake right. something in that. You can't stick that in the fridge. And so like when I think of the brown one, if you like to decorate with the darker rattans in your home, get the brown one and that's your stoneware version of being able to pass that around that. the table. Yeah, you can almost layer it in with the baskets that you already own. Yeah. I love it as a centerpiece too. You know, when you're not using it, why not put a flameless candle in and now you can swap out the seasons. So, you know, in the fall, maybe you have your fall leaves. In the winter, maybe you're putting some of your Christmas uh, balls inside there, some of your decorations. I would let my kids be in charge of that yeah, basket. In the I'd shelves, be like, here, you summer. go and decorate yeah, it for me. Yeah, how fun would that be? Now you not only have a bread basket, but you also have a centerpiece whenever you need it. You're so much fun. Oh, thanks. I love your ideas. <laughs> and you're getting that cloth napkin with it. So as a reminder for you, our poinsettia disappeared. This is not being reordered. And it's not that people didn't love it. And that's what gets me too. Sometimes if you're sitting at home, you might think, oh, well, if it's not coming back, probably nobody liked it. Are you kidding me? It's customer top rated. That means They've nothing. It. it just means that sometimes we have to retire something and move on to other pieces. And that's the case right here. These, if you have Jimmy the Baker muffins yes. and and you gently heat them up mm -hmm. in the toaster oven or in the microwave and you put them there and you wrap that cloth around it, it'll be perfection. You know how else you can gently heat them up? In there. Take the napkin in out, the oven. put them right in there, then take them out, put them in the napkin if you want to keep them warm. Again, think about it for different gifts if you wanted to, maybe some of the jams, the jellies. Look how beautiful of a presentation that makes. Pastas, wine, anything you, olive oils you want mm -hmm. to include, love that idea. 10 seconds, quick colors. Of course, Perhaps. no problem. I love the challenge. Here, of course, is our cranberry, our green, our red, our black, our blue, and our spice. And then we have our brown, our fall fetti where the napkin is laying, and of course that beautiful confetti. The poinsettia has officially sold out. There are no plans for a reorder. 